Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now, I am in the middle of a Northern Irish city that I've been to before, also a city I was warned by some quite dangerous people never to return to, but I'm here. So, so it's not like me at all, is it? So, just over the top of here, is a building that has got so much history to it, it is crazy. Now it's not the biggest of buildings, but it's got gruesome deaths. It's got torture. It's got some serious, scary, dodgy people connected to it. And it is literally over the top of there. So I'm gonna try and find my way through. Now this behind is part of a later sort of add-on gatehouse type thing. All these buildings around here had connections. Not all of them, because some of them are newer, but like, for example, the ones up at the end there uh, would have been there around about the same sort of time. Anyway, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and make my way over. It is cold tonight. I mean, when I got out of the car, it was minus six, and they said it's probably gonna go down to minus eight. So I need to hurry up and get in there before I freeze to death. Now, as you can see, I am right in the middle of the town. This is a cool building though. But to be fair, obviously, as you can see, it's lived in. We've gotta be very, very, very careful. Now that isn't the building we're going to. However, that looks like it's empty to me as well. So I'm gonna have a, a bit of a peek up there and see what I can see. But for now, look, there used to be an old gate, an old door there to get inside this. Another one there as well. And it would have all linked. There would have been a guard in each side of that probably. Anyway, oh look, that looks weird, doesn't it? The cathedral through, through the fog. That looks really strange. Right, so on closer inspection, the other building next door that I said I'd have a look at doesn't seem to be abandoned. So we'll leave that one be. But we need to go over here. However, we won't be getting this way because there's razor wire everywhere. Now I have found another way around that hopefully will get us in. So we'll head around that side now. Right, so while I was looking on maps, what I found out was, this is a former friary. I don't mean like fish and chips and stuff. I mean, monks, as far as I'm aware, it's monks that used to live here, which is all a bit strange. Now looking at it, it doesn't look that old, but I suppose with the arched windows upstairs, it probably is, anyway. I have a feeling I can get to where I need to this way. Right, I've not got my big torch on, I've literally just got my phone. But at the moment, that's because I'm in the garden of the friary. And I think I can probably pull my way through here somehow. So I'm gonna have a good try. I'm not the smallest, as you know, so it's not particularly easy, but we'll give it a go. Now, 100%, I'm going to get just over here and there's going to be an hole in the fence or something. But <laughs> I'm halfway through. I'm going to get in though, definitely. Right, I've managed to get my way in. Now, somebody did come up the drive where I was, where I was. And just after I stopped filming, I had to stop being, making any noise. I had to be quiet. You can see how cold it is tonight. So then I scuttled off into this little shed, which we'll have a look in in a bit, but I just need to get you in this house as quick as I can, because it's amazing, to be fair. It's only small, but it's amazing. This is the governor's house. Now this was used as a jail, and also for paupers and poor people to go. How atmospheric does that breath make it look? Now, not only that, just round this corner, somewhere around this corner, is where the gallows used to be. And they used to hang people. And there's a couple of stories I've got to tell you 
about the people that were hung here. And one of them will shock you. Now the garage shed thing that we've just come out of, already you can see the age to it. It's not just a new building. Look at the door on it. Look at that little um, thing that used to open and pass th stuff through. That used to have on castles. And then the big chunky windowsills. This place is fantastic already. And this is just the shed. Imagine. I'll tell you a bit more history about this place in a second. Right, I've just noticed something. As I was about to walk away, there was writing on there, look. That's a, that's definitely a WH. Is it an I? T, it's not white. It's too many letters. Wait a minute. This is awkward. Right. Oh, that's an L. That. Is it Whittle? I thought it said like lady, but there's no Y there, or lad. And then we. Oh, I don't know, because that doesn't look like Whittle. I can't work out what that. That's definitely a W. 100% that's a W. That is an H. But that doesn't look like an I. There's like two bits to it. And then that looks like maybe an E. An L on the end. I'm not sure. But that definitely looks like Lady something to me. But why would that say that on that door? Really strange. Now this place is known as one of the most haunted places in Northern Ireland. Now, you know I don't do paranormal. It's not my thing. However... It still sends a shiver down your spine when you know the things that have gone off here as well. Like, just behind me. And I, I know I'll, I've not told you yet, but I will get to it, I promise you. But it's exciting. I like it. Like, I believe in ghosts. I, I've always said I do. But I don't go on about them and I don't go hunting for them because if there's something, there's something. If there's not, there's not. It's just one of those things. But... I also know there's people that don't believe in him at all, so I'm not going to bang on about it. You believe what you want to believe. But anyway, let's go and have a look. It's, it's hard to get an idea of how tall this building is. It really is tall. My head would come just above that, that windowsill there. So that's six foot, 12 foot, 18... I don't know, maybe 30 foot tall. Not sure. But then look at this sort of... Entrance way here. There's a door there, which looks has it been refixed? That refitted. Oh no, it's just different sort of stone, isn't it? What's that say? Oh, the keep. No, I don't think we can get in through this door. I think there's a different way in. But we're going to have a look down here anyway. Right, so we have to be really careful round here because the barbed wire fence over there leads, oh, I don't know if it's over there, or at that side, it might be that side, is an army tra training barracks. So we've got to be really careful. But this place is a weird shape, really weird shape. I think it's octagonal. So if you don't know what that means, it's got eight sides. I know most of you do, but I just want to make sure. Right, there's a little door down there. These windows, oh, can we get in down there? Right, I'm just gonna have a bit of a, a scout round and try and work out how best to do this. Right, I think there may be some steps there, but I'm not quite sure. But there's a pulley system there for something. There's a door into the place down there, but what they would have been pulling up and down, I'm not quite sure. It, it looks like it's, it's possibly later. Well, it is definitely later. But I wonder what they've been bringing out of here. Anyway, let's get inside so I can tell you some stories. Right, so the friary where we walked up to is there. That's the fire escape for it. So it's literally bang next door. I don't know what when that was built. I'm presuming quite a bit after this. But I don't know if there's any connection between the two. But I do know some stuff about the building of this place, who designed it and one thing or another. 
Now I'm wanting to turn it round onto my own face and talk to you. But at the moment, I just want to show you where I'm going. Because it's all a bit spooky. All a bit freaky down here. Not gonna lie. Looks like there's a hell of a lot of stuff in there. But we'll go in and have a look. Oh, I love stuff like this. Because I know what's gone off. And I probably only know a very small amount of what's gone off. So it makes me wonder what else has happened here. Right, we are going to go into all of these places properly in a minute. But I'm just going to the furthest away bit and making my way back. Oh, look at that mirror. Oh, what a shame. Right, let's look down here first. Oh, this is a bit... A bit spooky and scary. Right, before we go any further, I'm not gonna walk because then you don't miss anything. But I will tell you, now this place was built by the guy that designed and built the courthouse just up the road that we've been to before in a previous behind the scenes video. It was where loads of trouble used to kick, kick off during the sort of IRA days. Um, there's big fences around it, but the building itself is so grand and it's from the early 1800s. Now, this place was built 20 years later as an overflow for the jail and the courthouse. And it's crazy. Like, the history to this place is unbelievable. The people that have been here and the crimes they've committed. And also, it's sad because it was used not just for men, for women as well, I don't mean like hair product. Um, I mean, for the women and children that were, were really poor and destitute, half of the place was used for them as well. So it's got some sad souls in this place. So anyway, let's head off back down this bit that we wanted to look at. Now I've got big fat thick socks on tonight, which shows you how freezing it is because I hardly ever wear socks, and these are hiking socks, and I've even got high tops on to make sure I don't hurt myself. So, yeah, oh, look, at, look at that thick rope. Now that, oh, I'm gonna say that, that could be like a gallows rope. I don't think it is because it's round electric wiring, but this little bit down here is very freaky, isn't it? Look at all these four candles. Four candles, but there's loads of them. And some old shoes there as well. Just sat up there. Just makes you wonder what's underneath all this lot. And like this long handled shovel, have they dug graves? Because there's unmarked graves in this place as well, which is really strange. When they, uh, they finished them off, they just buried them. Oh God, this is all very odd. Very freaky. It probably leads to nothing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, in fact, I was looking down here a minute ago. There's glass above. Somebody's put glass above it so you can't jump down. But this seems to go right round underneath, which is a bit bizarre. And you know I love scrambling about in places. The only thing is, when I'm somewhere like this, all alone and there's potential like look there's big pieces of metal that could just fall on me bonds it's a bit worrying isn't it really but i love it you know i love it come on let's get under it's this above my it's this i'm worried about because it's a massive grate that used to be where that glass is and if my bag catches it it literally could pull it down on my head and on my back which wouldn't be good Oh God, it's, it's catching. I don't put my knees down properly. Because there's glass. Oh, I'm putting you down. Fear farts are coming out. I'm sticking my tongue out there as well, you caught me. Oh God. done it we've done it wow 
as hard work. So now it's even harder because I'm having to balance on bits of wood with my head right up against the ceiling. And I bet you this, play, this bit goes to nothing. There's cobwebs in my face, I can feel them. Just, I don't know if you can see them. No, you can't. There's cobwebs attached to my head. There, look, there. It's not, not nice, I don't like that feeling. So anyway, let's carry on. Because there's all sorts down here. So like I said, we've got loads of wood to climb over. We've got oh, wood that's breaking, which is not good. Sorts of stuff in there. Ooh. I think at least that means I probably won't have to go back under that metal because I can probably cut through there. But that's like strip lighting. Who's dumped all this stuff in here? I don't know, but it's like from the 80s and 90s, I think. Where does this go? I didn't even know there was a like tunnel around the outside of it. This is bizarre. Not that I can focus on it, but the spiders crawling in my hair. They're all over. So there's some old tires here. They look like 1980s tires. Let's carry on further around. I just don't understand where it could go because it only went in one direction. So it's got to come to an end at some point unless it goes somewhere altogether different. Like links to another, imagine that. It linked to another building, like the monks next door. Be all a bit weird, wouldn't it? I do like stuff like that though, I really do. Now all the buildings that I was showing you as we were coming in, so that gatehouse and stuff, was part of the army barracks. So I'll just mention there's a new army barracks around the back. I actually think it might be RAF training or something similar around the back, like Air Force. But previously it had been an army barracks. I wonder if this links to it, but yeah, that's what, that bit was four, and that was like the early 1800s as well. So, oh, it does come to a dead end, look. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I would have loved it if it had just carried on and like ended up somewhere else, like in someone's cellar or something like that. That would have been so cool. But it's cool down here anyway. I just think like, what would they have used these bits for? Because it's like next to the cellar, but outside sort of. And with it being a jail, I don't know. It just seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Like they do the punishments down here or, or whatever. Because there was no real... Like, God, in the, in the 1980s, 70s, 70s and 60s, people used to disappear and get beaten up and stuff when they were in prison. And things happened to people. What was it like in the 1800s? Honestly, it must have been horrendous. So, just wonder what happened in rooms like this and corridors and tunnels and stuff. It might be nothing, but my brain goes mental thinking about it. Another bit of history I've just been looking at, I was looking at it earlier, but I'd forgotten all about it, Jesus, um, was, well, those two things. First of all, I don't know if you noticed the balcony upstairs. Um, and that wasn't just there for like aesthetic reasons. That was because the governor used to walk round it and watch the prisoners in the yard to make sure they weren't doing anything they weren't they were supposed weren't supposed to. And I can just imagine it. I can imagine him up there, all grand, thinking he was something a little bit special, lording himself over these prisoners. But these pris a lot of these prisoners were horrendous people. There was a policeman in here. And I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a little bit. But he was one of the worst. He was something, done something terrible. And he ended up getting hanged outside. Now, one of the other things that I read about, and this is what made me think about the torture side of things. There was a well somewhere on in the grounds and I don't actually know whereabouts it is, but it was used for drinking water, but apparently it was also used for punishment. Like, holding them under the water for a certain amount of time, tying up their feet and lowering them in. It's just awful. I can't imagine it. Like, I am scared of being trapped in water. That is my probably my biggest fear. Being trapped and being trapped in water, are, they're the two things that scare me to death. 
absolutely scare me to death. So the thought of being tied by the ankles and slowly lowered into the water, oh, that's horrendous. Right, made our way into this little bit. So we're now officially going inside. Now, I don't like the fact that there's loads of bulbs and like, stuff like that in here. God, the big saw there. But I sort of do in another way because it adds to the the build-up of history, things it's been used for, things that have happened here. Like, what are those chains on the wall? Are they new? Are they old? And it just gets you guessing, like, because of the... If it was all old stuff, you'd know. You'd know instantly where something had come from. But I just think it gives you a chance to have a look round and really think about it rather than just knowing. And I think that's what I like about history sometimes because it's not all facts. A lot of the time it's guesswork or it's something that's been told to you over time. Doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It's just been passed down from, Jesus, from generation to generation and it becomes fact even though it never was in the first place. And that's why I like to look at things and not make my own facts up but try and guess what the real facts are. Making our way through. It's all very dodgy underfoot because it's, I'm slowly sinking at the moment. And some of this brickwork on the walls don't look particularly great either. Now, a lot of explorers wouldn't show you down here because there's just so much going on. There's so much rubbish and things just thrown in. But it's about the journey, isn't it? Like you want to see these things just as much as I do. You know, like Some of you might not. But a lot of you will. A lot of you will be like, oh, I wonder what was down there. Why didn't they show us? But that's why I like to show you, because it's your adventure just as much as mine. So this place is a listed building, along with that gatehouse we've just been looking at. However, there's been one local historian that's been fighting and fighting to get this place looked after. And it should be. It really should. I totally back him. I know I'm, I probably shouldn't be in here, but... I'm here for the history just as much as him, just because he's allowed to. But the government and councils need to look at our history and go, you know what, that means something. Like, stuff happened here, because we're going to lose it all eventually, and it's a shame. Like, if you think about stuff from five, six hundred years ago, it's gone, because nobody cared enough to keep it, or it just fell down due to lack of repair. So it's the same with this. We need to look after it for future generations to look after and pass it on and pass it on. Anyway, I'll stop preaching about abandoned buildings and show you because, uh, like I said, I just love the root, the ceilings and stuff in here are brilliant. It could be a French chateau with the ceilings like this. Look, you've got all the old tools and stuff up there as well, big drill and things. Like what era was that used from? 1920s, 30s, 40s? And what was it being used for then? That's a bit of history I don't know about. I don't know who used this place then. And on again, there is so much stuff rammed in here. There's generations worth of stuff just rammed in here. And oh God, and it is pretty dangerous, so be careful. <laughs> just done it again, Anna. I've just told you to be careful. <laughs> So be careful, be careful. You know at home where you're nowhere near that glass, just be careful you don't stand on it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we'll keep going. The thing is, I, I genuinely think of you as being here. And obviously I can't name all of you. There's certain people like there's your Lisas, your Debs, your Ediths, people like that, Anns. There's all sorts of people that I know the names of, but... In my head, you're all here. Every single last one of you. What is going on here? There's all sorts of little knickknacks and things sticking out of ceilings. I don't even know what that is. That looks like part of a car. Is it? Just a minute. Is, in fact, is that something to do with... What's that? That's gallons. But that looks like a car dashboard to me. A very old car dashboard. I'm sure somebody will know what that is. I'm sure I don't. Right, on we go again into the next room of destruction. It's so random. That's horse tack. 
There's a blocked up door there as well. I don't know where that goes. That's horse tack. That is a recorder. I can't, I don't think I can show myself doing it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A dusty mouth. <laughs> I wonder who was the last person to blow that. I knew that sounded weird before I even said it. But yeah, I don't know if we just carry straight on here or not. Or do I head over to where that blocked up door is? Because there's a big opening window bit. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if it's, is it a blocked up door or a blocked up window? I'm not sure. That must be to where we were a minute ago. Round that outside bit. Once again though, like chateau roofs, ceilings in here. All sorts of stuff. Right, onwards. Every so often I come, like most of it, it's like tools and clothes and, and whatever they are, those curtains, Jesus Christ. But then I come across stuff that I think, oh, it's a shame. Like that box is really good. And I don't know what it was used for, but it's got like straps inside it to hold something in. And like, I don't know, was it for a, it wouldn't be a gun, would it? It's the wrong shape. But there's something important that they wanted to hold in place in there. Yeah. Oh, bits of bike. Ow! Oh, is this a chopper? Is it an old chopper or something? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Is it even a bike? Oh, is it an exercise bike? Is it? I'm a bit confused by it because it's got an electric wire that goes to it. I don't know. I don't get that at all. Right, the feeling has definitely just changed. We've just gone. Oh, wait. I'm at the bottom of those stairs. So if I'm at the bottom of those stairs, how do I get in? I thought if I went in here, it took me inside the place, but I wonder if that's what that bricked up door is. So now we've got to go back round and find a different way in. Right, luckily, quite quickly, I found a way in. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not the easiest way to get in. And I don't know if I can get anywhere once I'm in there. But at the moment, it's my only choice. So I'm going to have to have some very awkward wriggling movements of my fat ass to get through that window. I don't know if I can squeeze. The curry before I came out was probably not the best ideas. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just hope I can, I don't get stuck halfway because then I'm gonna panic. Oh wait, it opens a bit more. That's not too bad now. Right, I should be able to do this, but I can't show you me doing it because there's nowhere to put you down. But trust me, this is awkward. Like mega awkward. I don't know how I'm going to get back out again. Because I can go head first this way. I can't the other way. I'll get a face full of metal. We'll work it out. Okay, then maybe I am going to try and film myself doing it, but I don't know if I'm going to even push off in a minute. There's nothing to grab to pull me in. And it's slightly uphill, so my feet are lower than my, my stomach, but my head's higher than my stomach as well. So, no. I just got to get the weight distribution right, which I think I've just done. But that now means. <coughs> ah, fucking hell, that hurts. Jesus Christ. <coughs> I'm even more upside down now. That's the ceiling above me. <sighs> I feel sick. All the food I've just eaten. I am now basically doing a handstand. <laughs> I 
I don't know what to do next. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel stuck. I feel stuck. I feel stuck. Like it, don't like it. There's no going back now. need to get myself in a better position oh my god i don't think you understand how much that hurt and how awkward it was i got my i like sort of lifted my leg behind me and got it jammed in that gap in the gap between the window and the top of the window that's when i started panicking because i thought my leg's stuck i can't move forward and i can't move back like I said, just downstairs a minute ago, I hate being trapped. It's the one thing that really, really gets me. I panic, I like proper panic, and I was then. The thing is, right, you might laugh at me as well. What are, what are those? Those spears. They're like fishing spears. So they've got a pointy tip and then barbels on them, or whatever they call them, that stick in it. Why are they there? What a random item. But yeah, like I was saying, you might laugh at me for being scared about getting trapped and stuff. But I'm not scared of many things. I'm quite a brave person, I think. Look at that knife. A little clock. Um, a lighter, oil can. I don't know what that is. I thought it was a tattoo gun at first, but it's not, is it? Is it like something to do with oil, maybe? Oh, do you connect it to that? I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, we've either, and I'll make our way over this big hole and through there, or make our way through this quite small gap past the bath. Right, we've made our way through. First of all, oh, look at this little fireplace. I know they're quite plain blue tiles, but they're very nice color. Very, very nice little cover thing as well there. And then the detailed work around the back. Tiles at the front and those glazed tile things at the front there as well. Really good. Old oil lamp there. Um, I did notice and I forgot to look at it. Just there is a big brass fire guard as well. I'm not going back round. I've just almost knocked this off. I've moved the whole thing. I was scared to death it was going to fall. Now look at these bottles. Oh, soda siphon at the back. I don't know what that bottle is. People tell me to look at bottles. Oh, it tells you what's on here. The old Bush Mills Distillery. I've been to Bush Mills today. It's up near the Giant's Causeway. Quite a long way from here as well. So they're old whiskey bottles. Oh, I seem to remember that picture from like the 1970s being on... Cards and stuff. That's cool. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, what the hell is that item? It's like a forcible butt plug. <laughs> Bend over, sir. Thwack. That's a very odd looking little hammer thing, isn't it? Really weird. Now we have got to be careful because the ceiling does appear to be held up with about three, I can never what they're called. I want to say aqua props, Ac acro props, but there's like a couple of them and they're all at different angles, which is a bit worrying really, because we're going upstairs in a minute. Um, that's a hefty dog lead. God knows what dog he's got, but that's a big dog. Right, let's make our way further around. See, I like all the little things looking at things, maybe not so much planes, because I'm not a, I'm not into woodworking and stuff, but I do like seeing the old, because like, things like that often are worth a bit as well. What is this? What is this? What is this? It's like, is it a bugle? I'm gonna have to try this one. Oh, does it not supposed to have a reed thing in there? Let me try it without showing you. 
yeah, that that don't work. I think we need some sort of reed in it to make it work. An Amstrad computer. Bloody hell. We are going back with Amstrads. Right. Oh, I, lo I love it in here. It's like a little old junk shop with all stuff. Oh, look. I think... Oh, no, that can't be. I thought that was the guy that's trying to save it, but that photo looks like a long time ago, like in the 80s or something. So I don't think it can be. It might be his dad. But what's this? Oh, I'm going to have to have a look at this book. Right, now I'm confused. Um, the capital of Scotland. Sorry, I'm holding it in my left hand now, so it's a bit shaky. I'm sorry. Edinburgh. It's just all about Edinburgh back in like the 1800s. That's good, isn't it? Edinburgh Castle Battlements. I wonder when this book's from. Um, I'm reckoning either early 1900s or late 1800s. Let's see if we can find out. Oh, M C M L. M C M L. M C M L. Oh, so a thousand, and then it's a thousand minus a hundred, so it's nineteen hundred and L. I can never remember what L is. is nineteen oh. It's not nineteen oh five because that's V. What is L in Roman numerals? I've just remembered it's 50. So it's 1950 that book's from it. So it's actually a lot later than I thought it was. But still good though. I just had a very weird noise a minute ago. This is that main door I came to earlier on. I wonder if I can open it. No, it's locked down there. That would have been easier to get out, wouldn't it? If I could do that. Feeling a bit freaky, a bit freaked out. I'm not feeling a bit freaky. I'm feeling a bit freaked out. But oh wow! Oh well, this is not what I expected at all. This is like a little. This will be in the governor's living room, won't it? Oh, look at this with a little mirror over the top of the fireplace. The little. Bit where you'd have all your stuff in your drawers. Unless this was his bedroom. I'm not sure. And you've got a Hoffman piano. I seem to remember someone saying a Hoffman was quite a good piano. But maybe I've made that up. Maybe somebody said it was a terrible piano. So this place. God, it feels weird in here. This place, like I said, was known from the 1820s right through to the 1880s for being the place where people were hung until it went up to Gallows Hill, not far from here. Now, the people that died in this place were buried on site, like I mentioned to you. So they're all still here. All the bodies are outside in different places round about. I think the main yard was at the other side and they used to have women on one side and men on the other. And I think some housed upstairs in this building as well. And it was all on this site. Now, one of the most famous hangings in this place happened in the 1870s, I think 1873. And it was a police officer. I think he was quite high up as well. And basically, a shop clerk had been robbed and murdered just up the road from here in a place called Newton Stewart. Weirdly, where I'm staying tonight. I didn't know that until, like just now and anyway somebody had broken it or gone in in the day held them up taken the money and killed them now the investigating office officer was our guy that got hung and he looked into the case and it soon came to light for the other officers around him it was him that committed the murder so he was brought here he was trialed here trialed brought to trial here and hung for his crime in 1873. And imagine the other prisoners knowing 
that it was a policeman about to be hung and it was public executions as well. I think they only did the executions publicly up until the 1860s, but the whole of the town used to fill the outside area and watch the hanging. You can just imagine the noise, the door going from under the feet and gone. And the cheer from the crowd, it would be amazing. Like it wouldn't, it's someone dying, but I can sort of imagine it happening and what a spectacle that would be. I've just found out what that little room, that shed outside was for. You're not gonna believe it. I can't believe I even noticed the writing on it, but I've just read about it and it's amazing. Remind me to tell you in a little bit. Right. I know this is a really weird thing to say, but that's the third person with Maori tattoos I've seen today. I think that's strange. Something's not right. There was a, a girl on something and then a woman presenter was on, on the TV and getting told off for having them. And I don't really get it, but very strange. I've got a piper. What else have we got? Anything else? No, I just think that's a really weird connection because when do you see people with tribal Maori tattoos? That's really odd. Right, make our way back through because we were at the other side of here a minute ago. I wonder what this bit was. I wonder why they've sort of excavated the floor a little bit there. There's a bike in here, it looks quite new. What else we got? Oh, look. All the different brasses. Oh, what is this? Is it a Philip? Is it like a rec Oh, it's like to record, is it? Tape recorder. Brand new cooker. It's a little bit odd. It's been there a while though. There's stuff all over it. What else we got up here? Some tools and things. So nothing very exciting in this room, to be honest. I don't know what that door is though. I'll have a look in there in a minute, but. Yeah, there's, there's not a great deal in here, but we can carry on and go upstairs in a sec. Right, going back to that little shed outside, and we couldn't work out what word it said on it. And I thought it said, Lady White. It actually said, Treadwheel. Now, can you work out what that was? Because I know. So basically, where do we think you think you get treadmill from the treadwheel and it was a form of punishment now i don't know whether it was used as like labor you know like to produce i don't know it would be to produce electricity surely but i think it would be more of a a punishment i feel like i've seen something on a tv program based in victorian times where they had to go on like a tread treadboard thing for like 12 hours at a time and that's what that was i'm going to do some more research on that when i come out of this place because i would like to know or if you guys want to tell me what a tread wheel is and what it was used for obviously it's punishment but did it have a purpose other than to punish or was that it now a lot of the buildings that were to do with this place have been demolished over years and that's why it's so important in my opinion to keep this place alive and not let it fall to pieces. Like, it is gonna start going at some point. It's a very sturdy building. So it's it's unlikely to just fall down, but to make it so it's not just a shell of a building would be great to keep it. Oh, look, oh, looky look, that's good. I like that wood. It's um, probably like a veneer but it's good in it oh look oh, can we open this yeah look there's a little door there look let me try and move that bit of glass that's inside because there's writing behind it i've got to be very careful because this is very old that's very very old look what's it say american clocks extra bushed movement Jerome and Co, New Haven, Connecticut. Um, eight day clock. That's really good. I wonder when that's from. I wonder what year that's from. 
That's really, really good. I don't want to... No, I'm not going to pull that one. And also this. Try and light it up. Oh, no, it didn't really. Like a little Victorian scene. And then a space for something at the bottom there as well. Like it did go in something. But not this. I'm going to put it back in so it doesn't get smashed. And shut that door back up again. How good is that? That's really good. Right, let's keep going. Right, this says bathroom on it. But there's something about this room that makes me feel very unsafe. This floor doesn't seem great. Look at the ship. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lord. Look at that ship. That's good, isn't it? Hey, up. It's behind that door. Because there is something behind that door. Hopefully we can get to that a different way. That's a bit of a pointless picture. Oh, what's that? London, Londonderry Protestant Friendly Society. That, I bet that's an important piece of um, local history in itself. Just a minute. Let's see if we can zoom in. It's so far away. Look, it's signed at the bottom. John Young, Samuel McGuinness and Robert something. Um, all the members. And... One sec. We... Something him worthy successor of his father, the late Sir William Miller, who was our physician since the... Formation of the society now over 40 years ago. I wonder when it's from that. That's really good, isn't it? That? But, right, let's have a look up here. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's just a car that scared me. Well, this toilet is a bit ropes. I would be very scared of sitting and having a turd on there because. There's holes straight down to the next floor. I could see myself having a poo and going with the poo straight down the pipe onto the floor below. Oh, it's all a bit... Look, this is what I mean. This, this room is the start of the end for this place because obviously the floor's on its way out. You can see it's that's dropping away. That bath's going to go through the floor any time soon. Then you've got the damp coming in from up there and the plants. That'll start to corrode all the cement and stuff between the the rocks and that's the beginning of the end for a building we really really need to make sure this place gets saved i don't really know what i'm going to do about it personally but i really hope it does i really really hope it does oh that's one of those sewing uh, boxes that fold out i'm not going to get it all out today because you know what's in them but they're really good look at that Look at that being held up by a piece of metal. And the whole wall just looks like Stilton cheese. It's all crumbling away. That is worrying stuff, it really is. Now I know this is very garish. It's a very bizarre piece of pottery, that. It's gotta be foreign. I feel maybe Dutch or something like that, but it's very, very odd. Especially with all the plants around it as well. It just makes it seem even freakier. Right. Where to next? Straight up through there. This is freaking me out. Now, I haven't made reference to it yet because I'm trying to not let it freak me out because I'm also having to focus on not falling through the floor. But I don't know if you've heard it, but there's been scratching noises quite a lot. And I think it's probably rats. But it's almost like fingernails on a whiteboard and it's going through me a little bit. I keep hearing it, like every so often it'll just come and then go again. It's horrible, horrible noise. I don't think we can get behind that door without moving that stuff. I'm going to have a look up here. If we can, we will. But if we can't, I'm coming back and I'm moving it and having a look. Look, there's another big winch thing here as well what is hello
Hello? I hope you heard that. Hello? It's that noise again. That was a loud cracking noise, that then. I didn't like that. But yeah, I don't know what that would be used for. I have no idea what that would be used for. Right, where are we going next? In this one? Oh, we're not going in that one. Oh my Lord. Oh, it's a shame as well, isn't it? It's an absolute shame. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go past the rope at least to have a look because I need to see Try and look round the corner. Now the thing is, when we were downstairs, I don't remember seeing a ceiling like this that was just missing altogether. Right, I'm not going round. Just want to have a look like this. There's not a great deal to see, I don't think. Anyway, I do want to. I want to try maybe. I don't think that's very solid. Yeah, there's not a great deal, I don't think, in there anyway. So, oh wait. Oh, there's a good fireplace by the looks of things. But there's no way of getting to it. I, I, ain't, I ain't running across that board. No way. Right, across into the next one. That's a good little sewing machine, isn't it? I like that. Once again, got to be careful of the floors in here. Oh, Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. My granddad was one of the Sutherland Highlanders. That's good, isn't it? Pipes and drums. Huh. It was it was different. It wasn't the Argyll and Sutherland when he was. I think it was just Sutherland. I think. I can't remember. I can't remember. But he was. He's from Sutherland. Oh, we got in here. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Now I've seen one of these before. And I thought it was something to do with ships and like, you know, like radar. <laughs> but I think it's something to do with electricity. If I remember rightly, what people were saying and telling me off for being stupid. But, but it's just, is, uh, is it just me or is that what it looks like? Because that's what it looks like to me. But, right, what we got in here? That is a big mixing bowl. Like, look at look at my foot next to that. It's huge. That's a big cake. For floor buffer, that floor goes downhill. That's not a good sign, is it? When the floor goes downhill. What we got round here? Oh look. I like little cases. Because they often have paperwork in but it doesn't look the right sort of paperwork to be fair which is a shame I've got to be careful oh these are good dimple dimple old blended scotch whiskey oh blended Ooh, that's why I've never heard of it but I've never heard of dimple whiskey that's a very very strange new one on me I like these little drawers with the plastic fronts there or glass fronts I wonder what you'd use those for. Like two things, there's a really high pitched noise in here. I don't know if my ears have just gone weird. And the second thing, I wonder if that door goes through to the room where the floor's falling through. That could be the reason it's blocked up. I'm still gonna have a look, I think, I think. But we'll have a look in a minute. Right, something else I've just found out. So, the building that we started off at next door that I said was a friary that was the prison hospital I didn't know that either that's originally what it was it was the prison hospital right next door right next to the um the tread wheel thing that we've just been talking about they were banged next door to each other and obviously then it got bought up and turned into a friary and then 
There was other buildings next to it as well that have been demolished, but they're the main three, I think, that are left. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to think where that door was. Because we were through there, weren't we? Did we, is it, is it down there? Where's the hidden door? Oh no, it's the wrong side. So that hidden door goes to somewhere totally different. We're definitely looking through there in a minute. I'm going to top floor first and then, and then we will. So by rights, the hidden door goes through to somewhere at the other side of there. I think. Yeah, it must do. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, upstairs. That's moving. I must have hit that as I walked past. How did I hit that as I walked past? I only went to there. I'd have had to hit it with my bloody head. That's a bit freaky. Don't like that. This is where we heard the noise as well, which I don't like. That's moving a lot. That's actually moving a lot. And just to, just to let you know, I always question these things in my head because, look at that, it's moving a bit. If I was watching this video, my first thought would be, he's definitely gone and moved that. So it moves up and down. Why? What's the point? There's no point, I'm not, have I walked around here going, oh, ooh, listen, ghosts, ah. Oh. I haven't. And I haven't on purpose because it's fucking scary as it is. <laughs> I don't want to scare myself to death. But what is the point of moving things and making things bang and stuff like that? Because all it's going to do is... He says there's another noise upstairs. All it's going to do is mean that you could have to make it bigger and better and worse and worse every time you go out. Because your audience expects there to be spooks and ghosts and stuff. What's the point? So... Those sorts of things do, it's still moving. It was dead still before, I know it was, because I stood and looked at it for a minute. That's weird. Anyway, up we go, up to where that noise is bloody coming from now. Right, up we go. I don't know if it's just water dripping or something. I do keep hearing something up here. Oh, look at this. It's got records in there. It's a very bulbous looking thing. I don't know what this says either. Um, oh, it's, quite, it's like a big Scotch whiskey sign. But, up we go. I'm guessing we're right up at the top of the building now. I haven't seen any way to get on that balcony either. So I'm going to have to have a look back down and see if there's a way of doing that. Oh, I don't like it up here, you know. It's a bit freaky up here. I can hear noises there. Woods of Windsor. All the books. All the little ladybird books, look. I don't like it up here. There's an horrible feeling up here. I've just been saying, oh, I'm not saying, oh, ghost, ooh, freaky. But it does feel weird up here. It does feel very strange up here. Look at all the different period, like furniture and fittings. Look at that monstrosity of a lamp. It's like crushed velvet or something. That is horrendously bad. That really is. Oh, I can imagine somebody in in Ireland wearing that. I don't know why. <laughs> but is that stereotypical? Am I being horrible? I don't know. Surely you have an idea of certain things in your head. It doesn't make it make you horrible. It just makes I don't know. It just makes you think about certain things. <gasps> Look at that pram. That big old pram, is it a um what are they called now? Silver Cross, silver cross, cross, silver, silver cross. I don't know if it is or not. Oh, pedigree. Isn't that dog food? But yeah. Big pram there. 
What we got on here? A couple of little ducks, little savings tin thing. I don't think there's anything in it. Uh, nothing in it. Um, look at this as well. That's from a fireplace. The top off a fireplace or something similar to that. That's good. Oh, it's very strange. It's just a weird feeling in this room. It's not so much just this room, it's the whole top floor of this building just feels odd. I don't know whether it's because the, the windows are broken up here and it's just colder. Like, as you can see, I don't know. It's very strange. Something's happened to my nose. I've got like a dint in my nose all of a sudden. I don't know what I've done to my nose, but it's gone very weird. But anyway... Just old age. I've, I've got a collapsing nerve. I'm turning into Daniela Westbrook. I don't do dodgy drugs, though. Right, I'm here there. I don't know why I need to explain that I don't do drugs, because it's quite apparent that I don't do drugs. Well, I don't know, sometimes, to be fair. Um, right, what's in here? This is an odd little tiny... Right, that's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Why is there just knives lined up in here? Why are they, and they look brand new, <laughs> fresh. They've just been put there. Now it does look like some sort of either cooking area or cleaning area. Oh look, there's a big, goes under there. Or one of them ones that you stick your willy in. Or some people say you stick your willy in and some people say you don't. Um, but I think you do. There's a big enough hole for it. And then there's a roof out there, which I'm not climbing out onto. A Belfast sink, which is quite good, because we're almost in Belfast. Um, let's walk around the other way. What else have we got in here? There's all sorts of little knickknacks. A little grinder. Now, I could, I don't mean like, like a dating app for men. I could go through all the different items, like I do in houses normally, I'll go through all the stuff. There's just so much. And it's like, what do, you, what do you distinguish? Which bit do you go, oh, you know what? I'm gonna pick that bit up and I'm not gonna pick that bit up. He says as he sees something that looks interesting. Oh no, it's just, it's just accounts and stuff, nothing exciting. But yeah, I don't know, there's, I'm just, there's enough big things to look at without having to look at, all the little bits. Oh, that's good. Little glass. It makes me think of the... I don't know how to do this. Um, it makes me think of the baby sham glasses. I used to like the baby sham glasses. Right, moving through this other side again. I swear this is where the noise is coming from. Through here. It's a weird place for a fireplace. I thought there was somebody sat there then. I thought that they were back of someone's head. Sat on a settee. That dinner freaked me out. Got some little uh, trays there. Yeah, I like this. If this got, because it's metal, I think. Yeah, it is. It's actually, I don't think it's that old, but if you strip that back and repainted it, it'd look lovely, that. It's only a small one. Yeah, yeah I just saw the end of this sticking up. It looked like someone's head slumped over, sat on a settee. Oh, I like that chair. That's nice. And some of the old original frames for the windows as well. They're all single pane. Oh, in fact, they're not even in the, I was gonna say the single pane windows, but somebody's just put that over the top to stop water getting in, I think. But, right, I think we're about done inside. I'm not looking forward to getting back out again, but, I definitely want to go and move that door and have a look what's there because when there's stuff hidden, it just makes me wonder why. What was the reason for hiding it? Also, can we get up there? Is there any ladders up here? He says, and there's one right next to his legs. Right, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I trust these ladders. I'm not a small boy at all. I've put that rock there to stop them sliding because there's nobody to hold the ladder for me. But I've stood on wooden ladders like this before. They don't seem to like me. 
So I'm a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really wanna fall face first onto this lot or maybe go through the floor. Right. I'm gonna stop filming because I, I can't focus on both. Right, the thing is, I've had to start filming because if something happens, you need to see it. But it's wobbling like mad. It's creaking. And I can hear stuff falling down from the floor below. I think maybe just down the side of here. But I've got to at least stick my head up, I'm sure. I've got to do something. Right. We're up. I'm not climbing up onto the roof because as you can see, it's thick with ice. I think it's actually starting to snow as well. So I was wrong, you know, I think, was I? Anyway, regardless whether I was right or wrong, that is the hospital for the place. Down next to it is that wheel that we're on about. And then we'll go and look around the rest of the outside of this place as well. Well, uh, when we get back out of here, I don't know what that building is. I don't know if that's just a more modern building next door. This is <laughs> what a weird position to be in. Seriously, what a weird position. So yeah, I better put I better put this back on and seal it back up again because don't want damp getting in. Uh, and it is very damp up here at the moment and very cold. Right, let's head back down. I still I don't understand what they've been winching up and down in this place. Maybe beds and things to get them out of here. And big pieces of furniture. I just don't know. All a bit weird though, isn't it? Right, that is not moving. So if we get down there, and it suddenly is, and there's some ghostly voice, then, then... Be scared, because I will be. I'll be bloody petrified. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, that's not moving at all. I wonder why it was before, because I, like I said, the only way I could have moved that is if I'd headbutted it. Because at this height, I can hit it quite easily, like with my bag or whatever. But down on this level, let me show you. It is literally head height. So I would have had to nut it, and I'm pretty sure I'd know if I were going to headbutt that. <laughs> a big chunk of metal. I know I've got a thick skull, but come on. Right, let's uh, let's go to that other door before we go out of here and have a bit of a look. I don't want to break anything. Like if these are nailed in position, I won't move them. But I don't think they are. I think that's just leaning up against it. There could be some sort of like demon or spirit entity thing behind there. Then we would all, we would all uh, shit ourselves. But, right, best thing to do is move that. We can have a proper look at this as well, which is definitely what I want to do. But I want to see what's behind that door, 100%. Oh, my God. The torch is clearly on. Right, it has come back on, but it's... Battery's almost dead on it. I'm sure. The thing is, it was 100% when we came out. I've charged them all up. Because I'm staying in an hotel, so I made sure I did. <laughs> right. Luckily, I've got my backup torch. <laughs> However, the last time I used it, I had it on a green light setting to film a waterfall. So it all looks a bit freaky in here. So I better change that, really. Otherwise, everyone's going to think, like, Slimer's here or something from Ghostbusters. Right, I'm sorry, but that's even worse. <laughs> Now nah, it's just like blood coming down the walls. Bloody hell. I don't know how to change the settings on this. I'm on I'm on RGB and I need to be on white. I'm sure I'll work it out. Right, that's better. I still feel like there's a blue tinge to that somehow, but it's not. We're just on normal whiteness now. Right. It's probably reflecting off this, to be fair. I'll never go. I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to get in there, but I am interested. Right, there we go. We've got moved that over to one side. Got that down there. This light, I don't know, is it just because I'm used to the good light and this is like our backup light? I don't often use this one. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just not used to the, the colour or maybe my eyes have gone weird because of the other 
one I was using. Now, is this just going to fall on my head? I feel like I need to do this without holding something else. Right, I've just pulled this out, and I don't know if you're not going to be able to see, I don't think, but it's, uh, it's, it's boarded up behind, which makes me think the room, let's trace our steps backwards. Please don't be swinging, please don't be swinging. No, it's not swinging. Right, what is the... Right, that's weird, because it just stopped recording itself. The colouring just looks so wrong. Now, I can see this with my eyes. It's not the torch. Something's happened where it's just all gone blue. I don't know if you're seeing blue or if it's just me that's seeing blue on the camera, but... It... Oh, bloody noise again. Is it something to do with standing on a step? I was in exactly the same place and there was that noise. Same noise. Anyway, we're getting out of here in a second. But the reason I came in here, I've gone goosebumpy now. I don't like that top floor. Something's happened up there. I wonder, and I'm not going to go all the way down here because like I said, it's falling away. Is that door... Round that corner, there is does seem to be a door. Yeah, that's where it is. So that's why we can't get through. Mystery solved. But the thing that's not solved is the colour of my face. Why am I that colour? It's got to be, I wonder if it's my phone. Because it's not this, is it? Maybe it's my eyes. It's just all gone a bit weird. Right, I've just turned my phone off and back on again. It's still the same. Anyway, people have been saying that out for one last tribute for Andy, I should put a special hat on for him, and I can't think of much more special than this. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> that is a big, big Mexican hat. Doesn't even fit on my head. It's so big, but yet my head's bigger somehow. I don't know how that works. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my bag and we'll head back downstairs. Oh, there's a little photo there. I thought there was a queen at first. I'm guessing that's from round here. Now, talking about women, like I said earlier, there was men, a men's section and a women's section to this prison. And one of the women that was in here actually got sentenced to being here 90 separate times. 90, nine zero. Now, a lot of them were in here for like debting crimes, so owing money to people. So nothing major, but there was some big name people that overflowed from the main prison. And I think that's the reason they kept the policeman here. So he wasn't absolutely ravaged to death by the, the inmates at the main like jail. They stuck him here out of the way until they could hang him themselves. They obviously wanted to do it and be the people because he brought them into disrepute. But there were some, there were killers. There was one woman that had been on a bit of a rampage and killed most of her family. There was all sorts of people in here and they're all buried outside. Weird. Right, I've just come back up to put that picture back in place. I just noticed this bell when I came up to have a look. Apparently it's from the Titanic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. But Belfast is where they made the Titanic. So I wonder if it was like a, to commemorate it or something like that. Because this place was actually shut down as a jail in 1901. So before the Titanic actually happened. So anyway, talking about boats, I better put this one back. Right. Um... Almost back out the window. I've got the biggest wedgie in the world. Backing out. It's literally my shorts got caught on something. My shorts stayed still and my body kept going. So it's now rammed up my arse. It's not even a good way. Right. See you in a sec. Right, I'm out. Now the colour seems fine now. Now we've come outside. It's the same torch. It looks alright. 
It was just in there. Oh, that's what we didn't get onto, the balcony. But I don't think there was any way of doing it, which is a shame. I think there may have been a way of getting up there at some point. But there'll have been a way out the door, out the window. But they were all blocked off. I had a look. But yeah, that's where I used to walk round. So this, a lot of these walls were a lot higher apparently. More like the one over there to stop them getting out. But they were segregated as well. So the men were in one side and the women in the other. So I'm guessing this may have been, I don't know, because that's, that's a different building, isn't it, altogether? I don't know, I'm, not con I'm a bit confused. But yeah, and actually, that's the friary, so that isn't the hospital, 100%. So, I don't know when that building was added, whether that was one of the originals. And then this is just like a little lean-to, full of stuff. Right, let's head back round to the wheel room. Right. Now, I know you might not be interested in walls and things, but like I said, a lot of bits have been changed. Now, even that doesn't look high enough for a prison wall. And it did say most of the high walls have now gone. So, I don't know if that's the case, but I think that's the army base over the other side of there, or the RAF training base, or whatever it was. But, just look at this place. It's so cool. It really, really is. And then, Hang on a minute. Oh, that's just the end of the building, isn't it? Because it sticks out at that side. I thought there was another building poking through. But yeah, just imagine who's been in here. Who are used to watching the, this little bit and where are they buried? Whereabouts are they buried? Was there a separate section? Like, did they go in a certain bit of the, of the grounds? Where were the gallows? The gallows was off to the side apparently somewhere near these trees or near some trees now there's some you can tell people walked through here so I'm wondering if there's a reason they've been up this bit is this where the gallows was around here somewhere oh, you can't Im I can't imagine it like in today's society. I know people would turn up, 100%, they would, because it's morbid curiosity. But can you imagine? There had been an announcement in the paper on the telly. Jack Smith has done this. Come here on this day and watch him get hanged. And they all were stood round, cheering and laughing and or crying maybe, because it could be relatives. Just a weird feeling that, really weird. And to think it happened here, just here, not that long ago really. Like I said, the last one was in 1880. That's what, 100 and, 140 years ago, 145 years ago, there was somebody here standing, scared to death, waiting for their time, waiting to be hung. It's all just a bit freaky. Right, I've come round the back of this place. I didn't actually realise there was all this ground here. Now this potentially could have been the original outer perimeter because it was quite a big place with lots of buildings and probably this is where a big chunk of it had been knocked down. But just looking at this wall, this is more like you would expect from a prison wall. Now obviously it looks like it's been redone at some point because is that concrete or is it, is it oh no it's stone oh no maybe that is the original prison wall then look that runs all the way like that's definitely stone i can tell this bit may have been redone later in fact it looks like there used to be a gate there look and that's been concreted in so not sure, but that's definitely the, the barracks next door there. Anyway, let's head up to this house. Right, you can see people have piled things up against there to climb up to get onto that balcony. Because it's obviously really iconic. Don't know how safe it is, 
But there is actually ladders down in the cellar that I could go and get. But then you've still got a shimmy across the top of this wall. And I don't know if you've noticed how frosty. That's not white on the edge, it's just pure frost. I'm not risking it today. Normally I would, but I don't think it's worth the risk of slipping off and fracturing my skull the day before I'm going back home. So, it's a shame, but it's only a balcony. I can see it from here, but it would be good to walk around. You see, I think that's another thing that I really like about doing what I do. It's knowing that you've walked in the footsteps or the footprints of famous people and iconic people. I've been in a mansion where Coco Chanel was. I've been in a bunker in Germany where Hitler was. I've been um, in a big house in Scotland where Winston Churchill was. So it's just knowing that they were there before you. And they were looking at a lot of the similar things that you were looking at, because things don't change a lot. I, just, I love that, I really do love it. And just to think that he'd been on, where is it, that balcony, where this governor had been looking out. That's what's cool about it. It's not that you're just high up on a balcony, because it's not even that high. It's just the knowing that you're walking in their history, it's brilliant. Right, so we're back to this door where we started. And it does say, look, T-R-E-A-D, what did I say, wheel, W-H-E-E-L, tread wheel. So you go through there, you, little, you knock on the door, the guard had opened the door, let you in, and you go on the tread wheel for the day. That is amazing. That is so good. And then, like I said, as far as I'm aware, the gallows were where the trees were. So I'm guessing, oh, that looks weird. Don't you think those trees look AI generated? What the hell? It's this sky, isn't it? Because it's like yellow tonight. It looks really odd, really weird. Anyway, I don't think we can get to the other building which is further around here. Oh, we might be able to. Might be able to. Now, there's no sign of what it used to be like in here with the tread wheel. That has all gone because it's just paint pots and, and one thing and another, which is a shame, really. That bit of history has gone already. But to know what went off in this room is quite cool. Now, unfortunately, we cannot get to the hospital because it's not this building with the light on, it's the one next door. And I'm not going through people's gardens in order to get to it. It's not very fair. So we're gonna head back down to the car. I'll see if we can walk around, maybe around the other side and get to the other side of it. Because surely you've gotta be able to if you can get to the front of this house. But we'll see, we'll see what we can find. Right, where we started off, down at the barracks entrance. And I've just had to change phones because my phone's just died. But this is the hospital building. Now this bit of it is abandoned. These, as you can see, are not the flats. I was trying to have a look around the other side of it. Now there are other little buildings knocking about that look quite old, which makes me think that potentially some of those buildings were the same. Now, we were just at the other side of there a minute ago when there was that big flat area where I was looking at the size of the wall and this is the back of the building. But like I said, there's no point going anywhere near it because most of it is inha inhabited and I don't want to disturb people by going in that end one room that looks like it's absolutely hammered anyway. So, We'll head back. Now, I don't know about you. I'm weird colour on this as well. This is a different phone. And I'm a weird colour. I'm bright red. And everything seems yellow. The sky seems yellow and everything seems odd. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah, like I said, there's no point going through that window and doing that little bit because all I'm gonna do is wake the people up next door and they'll ring the police. 
and I honestly don't think it's worth the effort. But I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. That building for me is one of the best I've done. Like, not for what's in it, but the history behind it. I've loved it. I've loved every minute. Look, that street light looks yellow. Weird. Anyway, it's all weird around here. I'll see you next week. Love you all. Bye-bye.